Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. Welcome back to Best in Beauty. In today's episode, we're gonna be exploring lip blush tattoo. It's a form of semi-permanent makeup that adds a tint and wash of color softly over the lips. So today I'm visiting Brenda's Beauty Bar, who is a specialist cosmetic tattooist. She actually teaches people how to do lip blush tattoo as well as her own clients. So we're gonna see her and I'm gonna see my friend Nat, who's gonna be getting the service done today. This is my friend Natalie, she's going to be getting her lip blush done today. Her appointment starts off with a consultation with Brenda and they go through the colors available as well as what shade would look good on Natalie's skin tone. As you can see, there's lots of colors to pick from and Natalie actually brought a reference photo with her of a lipstick color she really liked. So Brenda is actually going to match and customize this color for her. Next, Brenda applies numbing cream to her lips which is left on for about five to 10 minutes. and she starts creating the custom pigment mix. These colors are all permanent makeup pigments and she's going to mix three different shades together. Just a couple drops of each shade in her ring palette and she mixes it together until it's all combined. She swatches the shade on her glove and it should be quite vibrant at this stage as 50% of the color will fade once Natalie's lips are healed. Here's a close up of Natalie's lips. You can see they're naturally pink, but around the edges there's some slight pigmented areas, which is quite common with a lot of people. I have it too. What the lip blush tattoo will do is help neutralize that area and help deposit some color to cover those areas, making it more even and give her a nice lip blush color. Next, Brenda prepares her tattoo gun. Then she maps out the shape of Natalie's lips. To do this, she's using a cotton thread to mark out the cupid's bow. Then she'll go in with a red lip liner to map out the outline. After that, she begins to fill in the whole lip. Now Brenda's using red so that the shape of the lips can be clearly seen. You just want like a contrast against the skin and the lip. So when she tattoos, it's easier for her to see. Once the lips are filled, Brenda uses a white liner to outline the edges, again to create more contrast. Now she can get started with the tattooing. The needle on the gun is actually super fine and small and honestly I could barely, barely see it and the camera's just picking it up very slightly here. This is just enough to deposit the pigment into the skin without causing too much swelling or trauma. So the needle is dipped into the pigment and Brenda begins with the lip outline. So she's just tracing that crisp line she created before. It's important to note that this is a semi-permanent treatment, unlike the old school permanent makeup tattoo, which uses longer needles and causes a lot more trauma to the lips. Lip blush is more similar to semi-permanent eyebrow tattoo in that the color lasts for about two to three years, but touch-ups are recommended if you want to maintain the color. When the top outline is complete, Brenda wipes away the lip pencil and she applies a gel-based numbing solution over the area to ensure the treatment is painless. These steps are repeated with the lower lip. Now, 
now that the outline is complete, the rest of the lips can be filled in. So Brenda is depositing the first layer of pigment into the lips. Usually about three layers are needed to get the desired color, but it also depends on your natural lip color. For some cases, if you have a lot of darkness and pigmentation around your lips, you might need two sessions. So one to neutralize your natural lip color and another session to deposit the lip blush color you want. As Brenda was building up the layers, I was actually quite surprised that there was very minimal bleeding and swelling. She was also really fast with the treatment. I think all up, it probably took an hour, an hour and a half, considering I was filming everything. This is what Nat's lips are looking like after a couple layers of the pigment. You can see here that the color is a little bit vibrant, but it will fade after it heals. As for aftercare, it was pretty straightforward. No spicy foods for the next two days. Avoid some skincare on the lips like vitamin C or anything that could sting the area as it's quite sensitive. It's also important to keep the lips moisturized and Brenda does provide a little aftercare lip gloss that Nat's gonna use for the next couple days. All up, it usually takes about a week for the lips to fully heal and for you to see the final color. So like most tattoo treatments, the area will start to dry and peel off. And it's really important to let the skin fall off naturally. You're not supposed to pick at it or anything. This is day two. Two days after, it's starting to dry up a little bit, but I can't touch it. So I'm going to apply the moisturizer back on. Update on day four. It is very dry right now and peeling, but I can't take it off. So we're just going to leave it. <laughs> the color's okay. Still looks good. By day six, Natalie's lips were looking a lot better. The dry bits have all fallen off. After two weeks, this is her result. You can see what her lips look like before the treatment, right after the treatment, and once it's fully healed. I really love the final color she chose and I love how natural it looks on her. Now she doesn't have to worry about her lipstick fading throughout the day. Let me know what you guys think about this treatment. Would you get something like this done? I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay updated with the latest beauty treatments and I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye! Bum doo 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 do